we're going to select flight plan then new After using the cursor, we have our origin, enter, now the destination. Again, back over to the cursor. Okay, here we are, Wilmington. I'm sorry, Ocean City to Wilmington. Now we're going to add two waypoints. Laughing. Okay, again, using the cursor to get to that, we'll enter. Okay, so here is our route. Ocean City, Laughlin, Smyrna, VOR, Wilmington. Okay, we are on our way to Laughlin, Laughlin, excuse me, and we're going to set up the hold. So we're going to go direct, Laughlin, hold, Going to make left hand turns just like it depicted on the uh, the IFR chart. And it was going to be inbound on the zero. Ah. Zero nine five. I hate when it does that. So much easier doing the real thing. Zero nine five radial. Okay, so we're gonna hold it Laughlin. Left turns, because that's what's published. Inbound is gonna be zero nine five. Enter. So now let's go look at the flight plan. Just to review. Ocean City to Laughlin. Then it's going to be a 095 course in the hold before we go to Smyrna. So here we are coming up. Now we could have easily changed that one minute leg to, to miles, but I left it at uh, a one minute. Just five miles out. Hey, gotta like this. Look at this. Ah, oh, it's the sim. 180 knots. Wish the commander did that. But I flight plan at 130. I usually see better. So I have no complaints. When it goes into the hole, the suspend button should light up in here and then to continue out of the hold and on with the rest of the course I will select suspend so we'll do one lap just to see the process here we go hold teardrop ahead just a mile just a mile out at 15 seconds
Okay, we went into suspend mode. And we're going to do a teardrop. Remember the select remember the selection was also for 1 minute. 1 minute legs. Here we are at 50 seconds. And there you can see right here we're turning, should be turning to a 095 heading. For whatever reason you get the hold on your on your flight. I've gotten one or two holds, I think. Two holds. Once I, one I canceled with uh, ATC. And the second I was put in a hold coming home to Ocean City because there was a really bad layer. When I went out into the hold, I was in the clear blue skies watching a Cirrus below me doing a, a lap in the hold. He headed inbound. I don't know how he got in because when we took our turn just a few minutes behind him, there was a solid layer at 700 feet, so I don't know how he got through that. But hey, conditions change at the beach. We ended up going back towards the hold at P Fair and on the way selected uh, or requested, I should say, the GPS 3 2 approach. AT ATC uh, granted that, so we pointed for offshore and shot the GPS 3 2 approach in Ocean City, breaking out at about 280 feet. Decision height was, was 261. Okay, so that, that's a lap. So just say we did a couple laps. Now we want to proceed with our course. ATC tells you 453 Tango Charlie, proceed on course, blah, blah, blah. We're going to take the suspend off, which you saw the racetrack is now going. We're going to make a left-hand turn. Here you go, left to zero, one, two, heading in four, three, two, one. And we're continuing on course. So it's that easy to program the hold, hit suspend to release from the hold, and continue on with the course. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any other questions on the Garmin 480, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I'll try and answer in the best way that I can or do a demo flight if, uh, if that makes it a little bit easier. The same procedures I'm doing here now on YouTube can be found on my uh, flight blog. Check it out when you can, Gary's Flight Journal, and you'll see uh, links that you can go uh, find all these in the text format. Alright, thanks for watching.